Now I want to again state the importance of the test code quality and how we can improve the maintainability and the readability of our tests. I was showing this a few uh, times already. Um, the most important thing that you can do in your test code in order to improve the quality is to care about proper abstraction layers and craft reusable components by separating the concerns. So the thing that usually goes wrong in tests when they're not maintainable is that the test not necessarily does too much but has too many different abstractions. So the test that I was showing uh, you before that basically implemented the same um, logic that we had here in our create order test but put everything into the same method well, it has too many abstractions. It um, includes the test scenario. It includes the lower level detail of HTTP, of JSON and of all that. And then you end up with a test, a method that is not maintainable. And then what happens, of course, you take the whole method. If you have to create a new um, test scenario, copy paste everything, change Espresso to something else. And then you end up with a lot of coffee paste, uh, co coffee, copy paste the test code um, that is not maintainable. What we do instead, we create up reusable components. For that, it's actually nothing new. It's the same that we would do in production code as well, right? In production code, you would care about all of these code quality principles, but here it's test code, right? So nobody cares. Well, actually we do care. It's not forbidden to put in proper code quality into test code as well. It's actually a good idea. It makes your test uh, more maintainable and more readable. And what we have here is the implementation of, uh, of this component. And what we need to make sure is that we don't leak some abstractions. For example, what I say, create order, create this coffee order and what is being passed. And this is again now the system test project. This is an order that just wraps some details. So since this is part of the system test project, I actually don't include the proper types. I just include strings because as part of, um, um, part of my system test just check for some some data it's not that required that this one-to-one -one matches the production code again I could use some different technology here this doesn't matter but I only want to include the business components or the business data of the order and nothing lower level HTTP logic so what I used here as the URI that is basically an identification of the order that I can use later on to identify it but I'm not um, showing any lower level um, HTTP information. I'm not showing any status code. So for example, this lower level component can already verify that the status code matches something here. So it's not forbidden to put in some assertions here as well. This not only has to be part of the actual test class, I can again just delegate that to this component. This makes a lot of sense. And if I make sure that this is then the case that I don't leak some abstractions, I could totally swap out this component, the system, against something that uses something else than HTTP, maybe gRPC, maybe some messaging solution, and so on and so forth. I don't have to change the test scenarios. So here, if I would come up in the same way with a new test scenario that creates a cappuccino from Ethiopia, then I also could very quickly just take this code and it's readable. I obviously, I immediately see these obvious changes because my method doesn't have hundreds of lines of code and then it stays readable and maintainable. That is the most important thing. The same is um, done here in the use cases. So this is what you already saw. Same principle. I built up these test doubles in order to delegate this logic into this other abstraction component, into this other abstraction of how the coffee shop a class or test double does all of the wiring and mocking and so on, or the order processor and so on and so forth. I don't want to put everything into my test class here in order to separate these concerns. So these are already the most important principles to follow, much more important than which test technology to choose. And with that, you will come up with much more maintainable tests and with readable tests. And ultimately, it's also much more fun to write and to read and consume this test code.